Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's blog. Hey, look, it is a brand new week and brand new episode, new items that are coming up. They are tick, they coming in, you know, exclusively. But they will let me ask you, Kylian Mbappe to Real Madrid, will it be or will it not be? <laughs> Exclusive. Kylian Mbappe to Real Madrid, will it be or will it not be? In this edition, would Kylian Mbappe be heading to Real Madrid next summer or he will not? And if not, where do you think he'll be heading to? Premier League? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go. Let's get started and see where Kylian Mbappe will be heading in the summer. Well, it's been in the news. But before then, quickly, my headline news for you this very afternoon. Yeah, I need to give you the headline news. In this afternoon, Mauricio Pochettino is on the same page as Lawrence Stewart and Paul Wistale. Yes, we'll hear more from that. On which page? Which page are they? We will have to go deeper into that. We will go deeper. If indeed they're on the same page, we shall go deeper. Christopher Nkuku, is he truly injured? And for how long will he be out? Coming up next. And we shall be talking about the injury list. Yes, the players that are on injury list right now at Chelsea. We shall be talking about that. All right, let's start. One, two, get it rolling. Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe is in the news over the weekend about Mbappe. The latest news we are receiving, according to Time Sports, Kylian Mbappe is unimpressed by Real Madrid's attempt to push him into signing a pre-contract agreement this month. He wants to explore a range of options, including switch to the Premier League as a free agent. My goodness, is this playing into Chelsea's hand or Liverpool's hand? What is Kylian Mbappe up to? What is he up to? Remember, the mother is his agent. He doesn't have an external agent. It is our family right now. It is his mother that talks every detail for him. Everything about his contract, agreement, or whatever, it's about him and his mother. And as we speak, he has the right to talk to any club around the world, or around the globe, whoever you want to play with next season. PSG has already had that agreement with him. They've settled their issues, and there is no discussion whatsoever about Kylian Mbappe and PSG as of now. And any deal that Kylian Mbappe wants to contract himself or contract himself to or get involved in, himself in has nothing to do with PSG. We understand his, his fee, if he's to go to any club as a free agent, to be around 87 million euros. Around 87 million euros. Which, in today's market, if you want to go and buy Kylian Mbappe in the market, you are not going to get him less than 200 million pounds. Yeah. If you want to go and buy Kylian Mbappe today in the market, you are not going to get him anything less than 200 million pounds. I mean, definitely to start from that range. You might be able to get him around 160, 170. But remember, he is a free agent and he is going for 87 million only. The problem is the salary. Yes, I, I spoke about this some months back. And if you want to check his salary carefully, carefully, Mbappe should be taking about 600,000 pounds every week. Means that in two weeks, he's taking 1.2. In one month, he's taking what? 2.4. 2.4 million pounds if Chelsea is to sign him. Yeah. I, we can afford it. Not that we cannot afford it, but it's our owners ready to venture and coming back to the real issue, Kylian Mbappe is unimpressed by Real Madrid's attempt to push him into signing pre-contract agreement this month. If you remember last week, the coach of Real Madrid was asked a specific question regarding Kylian Mbappe. What did he say? He said they don't speak about such things. They don't talk about it. Meanwhile, there was a, a ag pre-contract agreement that was presented to Kylian Mbappe to sign ahead of the summer. But the young man is saying no. No. And like he said earlier on last week, I am not talking to any club yet until my stay in Real Madrid, my stay in PSG is over. He, the mother might be doing some underground work for him, actually. 
But the pre-contract agreement that Real Madrid has presented, he is unimpressed. Personally, I think Mbappe is up to something. Now he has a leverage. He has a, he's, he's in a very firm and strong position to negotiate well in his future. He doesn't want to put, be pushed into signing any agreement. And he is going to make Real Madrid, he's going to make it difficult. He actually wants to make it difficult for Real Madrid to sign him. He knew they also want him. He knew that Real Madrid actually want him. He also desired to be a Real Madrid player long ago. But since Real Madrid could not agree on a deal with PSG last summer, and it became a news, if that issue overdrag on, it became a thorn on his flesh. Now it is his turn now to drag Real Madrid. If they want him, they should be able to fulfill his desires. They should be able to give him what he wants. Otherwise, like he said, he wants to explore other range of options available, including a switch to the Premier League. This is Kelly Mbappe for you. What do you think, my dear friend? Let me hear from the comment section. He is one of the best around the world right now. Yeah, he is. You can Im imagine Mbappe in Liverpool, this Liverpool team right now, or Mbappe in Chelsea, combining with Nkuku, his international teammates from France, right? My goodness. Then if you're able to get who? Osimen in the summer in addition. My goodness. My Chelsea fans, let me hear from you. What do you think? Kelly Mbappe is weighing his options right now, including Premier League switch. The only two teams in Premier League that could afford him right now is Chelsea and Liverpool. Period. And so if Real Madrid is not able to get any agreements in place for him now, and he will enter into summer, well, that will mean that the options will be make, you know, any other club can go in and compete with Real Madrid. But let me conclude by saying, I see him in Real Madrid next summer, next season. I can see him in Real Madrid. Yes. He will surely agree a deal with them at the end of it all. There's nothing like 100% um, surety in football. So I cannot say 100%, but I'm seeing him finally signing for Real Madrid in the near future. Well, quickly to the other news because uh, our time is fast spent on Kele Mbappe alone. Mauricio Pochettino is on the same page as Lawrence Stewart and Paul Wistale with regards to new signings and also outgoings. He 100% he wants a new striker. Power players like uh, Madsen and Conor Gallagher could be leaving. This is very interesting. If we want to take this from Lawrence Julian. If we want to take this from Lawrence Julian, this is very interesting. Mauricio Pochettino is on the same page as in which page? If he's on the same page, then the player of Conor Gallagher, the Conor Gallagher that they want to sell, is Mauricio Pochettino on the same page with the same people when it comes to Conor Gallagher? Is he, on the same, is he in agreement with them that is to sell Conor Gallagher? If, they said he's, if you're on the same page with me, it means you're in agreement with everything that I'm saying. All my suggestions that I bring on board, you accept it. Or we are working together. And if I'm saying that this guy, Conor Gallagher, is one of my mainstays in that midfield, one of my best so far this season, I want to maintain him. He is our current captain. He is on form. Let us not make that mistake. And they are still talking about selling him for 45 to 60 million pounds. Then I would like to ask, are they, on the, truly, are they truly on the same page? I am asking, I understand, has already agreed deal with Dortmund. Yes, I will come to that in the next episode. But now, is Mauricio Pochettino on the same page with Lawrence Stewart and Paul Winston? Those are the recruitment directors. They recruit players and they sell players for Chelsea. Well, we wait to see. We wait to see. Christopher Nkuku's hip injury is nothing serious. If all goes well, Nkuku will be available to face Middlesbrough or Fulham next week. I will not talk much on that. In the next episode, I will come back to that issue again. But quickly, before I let you go, players that are on injury list as we speak, this is a disaster for Chelsea in this season. It is a disaster. Ben Chiwell, Kanichuku Emeka, Benoit Badoshelli, Trevor Chaloba, Mark Kukurela, Wesley Fofana, Rhys James, Romeo Lavia, Robert Sanchez, Les Logochuku, and if I may add, if I may add, Christopher Nkuku. 
dear friend let me hear from the comment section i will see you in the next one when you see me it is still transfer window and we are deliberating on transfer issues and our players the market is moving teams are already buying what is happening to chelsea are we going to see the same signings this week let's wait and see i'll see you in the next one when you see me shalom and peace